Hi guys, it has been a very long time since I've made a, view, a, a video, so I figured, uh, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to take apart handguns. I mean, fuck it, why not? Hold on. Yuli Mae here to say hi. We got, yes, Yuli Mae. Got Mr. Riley Dean. Ah, alright, alright, alright. All right. Yes, I am wearing uh, gloves just in case. Um, these are, I have cleaned these already. And they are oiled and everything. And I don't want that on my hands. Especially if I'm going to be playing, petting the dogs. Uh, I don't want that. And it's easier to clean up. So we're going to... I'm going to show you how to take apart a striker fire. Can gun, which is my Stoger. And then my 1911. So if you own a 1911 style handgun and you don't know how to take it apart, I can show you. Ignore the noise in the back. You too, done. Nope. All right. <laughs> like I said, first one will be a striker fire handgun. So pretty much anything uh, that doesn't have a hammer on the back, such as the 1911. So pretty much most of modern 9 millimeters. Uh, Glocks, stuff like that. These are all striker fire. Uh, so I'll show you how to take it apart. This is probably the easiest way to take it apart and clean it. Uh, this one is going to be a challenge. And for this, I have this little case. It has the tool I'm going to need to take off this front end to take the barrel out. Uh, which pretty much we're not going to be... I'm going to show you how to just do a little bit of my cleaning that matters. Not to say like cleaning inside here doesn't matter. Uh, this does, but I normally don't fiddle with this too much unless I have to with this particular handgun because they're both my carries. This is my concealed carry. This is my open carry. So, okay. First one, it's the striker fire handgun. We're going to set 1911 up there. Pretty much this one is fairly easy to do. As you can tell by these pull tabs right here on the gun. You can use it. Well, hold on. I'm behind a tripod, so this could be difficult for me. Uh, these pull tabs are here. There's one here, and there's one here. Some handguns have these. Uh, other handguns have one that's like right here. If you pull back the slide and you pull this down, you can pull the trigger, pull it forward, it comes off. But with this, it's fairly simple. You pull those down, pull the slide back, pull the trigger, thing comes off. Pretty easy. Pretty standard. And to take the barrel out, pull that string, that spring out. Barrel comes right out. Really easy to clean. I like it's so easy even a caveman can do it. Alright. Now that's out of the way. Now I'm gonna open up this. Get the tool I'm gonna need. Uh primarily for the 1911, you're going to need this. Which as you can tell has already been used. So, for a 1911, making sure. She's clear. And so, uh, right. yeah, clear. Now for this, you stick it here and you push. You pull that out, take the spring, don't lose that, which means shit. I also did this wrong. You're supposed to go that, pull that out, like a normal handgun, pulls out. But, you know, I did it backwards. Here, I'll do it again, proper. That comes out. You want the barrel out, you go the, you can actually, the tip of this actually swing, swivels like two different directions. But, to take the barrel out, Go that way? No, it's this way. No, why the, f the barrel won't come out now. Okay. All right, hold on. I'll get it. I'll get it. Is it that way? There it is. There's a this little slot right here. You gotta make sure it, it traverses that. As you can tell. I don't take it apart that often. 
And when I do, it usually takes me fucking forever to put it back together. So, this is what the barrel looks like. I plan on upgrading my barrel to getting uh, a threaded barrel on the end so I can put like a compensator or suppressor or something else on there. It's like, yeah, taking apart a 1911 is a little more difficult than uh, a striker fire handgun, given how, you know, that's a pull tab. This kind of isn't. But what I like about the 1911 platform is not only are you shooting a bigger bullet, which this is 9mm. Fuck up camera. Right here, right here, right here. Right here. That's my 9mm. Uh, these are Hornady hollow points that I use. And these are my 45. Same thing, as you can tell. Uh, it's just, I like to carry it. I like shooting it. I'm a better shot. I'm a better shot with the 45 than I am the 9 for some reason. And I don't know why, because this has like a few thousand rounds through it. And this just recently hit a thousand, so I don't know. I I don't I pretty much it's probably the way I'm holding it, but I digress because you know this is a bigger frame than this is. So I mean that's probably why. It's probably my grip and probably like a few other things. But let's uh put it back together now. Um start with mm, we'll do the hard one so put that back in there put barrel. okay so you gotta tilt it I, I knew this goes this way you gotta tilt it this way pull it out put it back in this way is to take the spring out this is to take the barrel I knew it twisted so put that, put your back in, put this back in. Make sure this is uh, correct and upside down because it needs to hug the barrel. Otherwise, you ain't going to function. So and then you stick that, you sp take your spring back, put that in there. Uh, the spring is also a very big pain in my ass. It is a lot larger spring, as you can tell. It's a lot larger than the 9mm spring, but it is. That's why we're doing this one first. Not the 19 or not the 9mm. Usually for this process, I will pin this against my body like that. Oh, about broke it. Good thing I have a spare. Okay, we'll go like that. God damn it, hold up. Like that. Oh, that look a little stuck. Okay. So I'll pin it like that. And then I'll push with my thumb back in. And it goes over like that. And then that snaps into place. So slide is now functional. Now to put it back on. The, I, the fucking thing I hate the most about these, about 1911 body styles, is that the takedown. I mean, this is probably with older fire striker or fi hammer fire guns. This is probably the same with all of them. But this in particular, I'm not a huge fan of, but I love it anyways. Okay. There it is. So, when sticking that in, you gotta make sure this little circle right here uh, lines up with that little circle. Because if that don't line up, then you're not getting your handgun back together. So if you're pressed on time, a 1911 is definitely not what I, I would recommend for... Where the fuck? Where's the hole? Oh, fuck, it went back up there, you fucking bitch. Hold on. Okay, is that it? Now, for this, I can see it in there. Can you? Yeah, you can, you can just barely see in that little hole the... Thing blocking it so in this situation I would always stick my pin right in there and hold it right where it's going to be that way it slides back and it goes to that little notch right here you see that little notch 
because this is where it catches for an open mag or for when you uh, pull the slide back either on an empty mag it will do this or if you're just putting one in the chamber put you know and drop mag put in like that here but this little notch is to make sure that you can come in and out freely okay okay go. You gotta make sure that hole is lined up correctly otherwise like i said it will not go in as a, someone who's taking this apart a couple dozen times even myself oh it's in like that and yeah like cheese perfect i love this thing and there's like no other handgun i'd rather have than this thing as my everyday uh open so let's now the pain in the ass is out of the way let's get the easy one done shall we simple hold on I say simple and I already get it fucking stuck. Alright, well. Alright, try that again. Enter in. Slides. Jesus Christ, it's like the first time having sex. Put spring back in. Make sure that's flush. God fucking damn it. There. See, so look. Hammer. You just pull that back. And it's good. Got a release sensor right there. Uh, safety on the trigger, which, I mean, is a good and bad thing, depending on how you view it. But yeah, that's pretty much how you take apart and clean either a 1911 style or a striker fire style handgun. Uh, probably the next one I will do will be my ARs or my shotgun probably or my bolt action because I have a lot of guns I can do this with. So just let me know if you want to see more. On that note, how many, do you guys want to sign off? Come here. Come here. Luna. Riley, get up here. Riley, come here. Riley. Other way. Hi, hi baby. Uh, all right. Uh, on that note, uh, from you're saying goodbye from us three. Hi. 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 Say hi. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Looney. Luna. Okay. So we'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever that is. Uh, stay in contact with, or not contact. Do you mind? Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Hi, baby. All right.